So I saw that as an incredible opportunity. Dubai had always seemed like Narnia to me in the sense that everything in Dubai, from what I've heard before coming here, was the biggest and best. So during the six week incubator program, I got very comfortable. I found the gym that I was really enjoying training at the time, training stuff in Alcuz. Uh, I was learning strongman from... What's going on guys? So this video is very long overdue. I've been in Dubai for two years now and I still have not properly updated you on why I moved to Dubai. Every time I go to the gym, nine times out of 10, somebody asks me, Larry, what are you doing here? How long have you been here? Why did you move here? So my apologies, but today I'm finally going to explain why. So it started back in Iceland while I was training with Thor. For those of you who don't know, I've trained with Thor Bjornsson for two months in early 2019 in Iceland at his gym and one of the best experiences of my life. Anyways, Don Idris, the organizer for World's Ultimate Strongman here in Dubai, reached out to Thor while I was there and said, hey, I have an opportunity for Larry. It's a six week incubator program in which all of Larry's accommodation will be taken care of. In exchange, I give some promotion for Wuss and everything will be taken care of while I'm here. So I saw that as an incredible opportunity. Dubai had always seemed like Narnia to me in the sense that everything in Dubai from what I've heard before coming here was the biggest and best. So I was super excited and there was no way I was turning this opportunity. So right at the end of my two month training with Thor, I went straight to Dubai. Before I said I was in LA and I thought it was gonna be in LA indefinitely, <laughs> and that just tells you how excited I was. I didn't even go back to LA, I just went straight to Dubai. And upon arrival, I was mesmerized by Dubai. It was everything I thought it would be, especially driving from the airport to my hotel, the Maiden at the time. You see the gorgeous skyline, the Burj Khalifa, the roads which just uh, looked brand new like they were built yesterday everything in Dubai and still to this point I'm, I'm um, shocked by how clean Dubai is, uh, how safe Dubai is. There's no real petty crime here. It's very, very low. Um, and it's it really just a bubble in Dubai. So during the six week incubator program, I got very comfortable. I found the gym that I was really enjoying training at the time, training stuff in Alcuz. Uh, I was learning strongman from a very experienced, uh, strong my competitor, Mark Boyd. And I also met my partner, Nicole, the love of my life. So a lot happened very fast and between me getting comfortable and realizing that life in Dubai is as good as it's going to get for me, I decided to stay. Uh, and during my stay here in Dubai, I have met so countless yes. influencers, countless. So many people have come to Dubai during my two years here, it's been unbelievable. Uh, Dubai has 100% been the best place to be during COVID. Everything here has been open for over a year now. Uh, you do have to wear masks, uh, but the <clears throat> curfew was over since long before last summer. Uh, so I have been living life as per usual pre-COVID for the last 12 months at least. So it's really been um, it's been a privilege being in Dubai during COVID. Not to mention <clears throat> arm wrestling has, as you guys know now, been, I've been addicted to arm wrestling. And I have had experience with pro arm wrestlers prior to coming to Dubai, but I've never been exposed to a proper arm wrestling practice or club until I've come to Dubai. And that goes to Suhail for putting that, uh, putting that group together uh, for me to come and experience what that's like. Because uh, prior to that, I've only had experience at competitions and expos. So it's a very different environment with guys just getting together in the gym, practicing on a table. So 
after that meeting with Suhail, I was 100% committed to taking arm wrestling seriously. And I have ever since. Ever since that day, I have been training arm wrestling two to three times a month. I've truly fallen in love with arm wrestling. Um, I love strongman. I love bodybuilding. I love powerlifting. But right now, strongman and arm wrestling are like this, like neck and neck. I love them both. Um, I don't have plans to move anytime soon. I truly feel like I found paradise here in Dubai. Um, and for those of you who are convinced that Dubai is the best place on the planet to be right now, you want to check out Virtue Zone. Virtue Zone is what I've used to register my business here and also get my resident visa. Hello. Larry, welcome. It's, a, it's an honor. Uh, all, thanks for having me. I was going to say all the way from New York, but actually you've been in Dubai for a little while, haven't you? Yes, I've been here for two years and well, thanks to you guys, it's official now. That's fantastic. The reception's yeah. never looked so small, Larry. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank hope you. your business is growing as fast as uh, you help people uh, increase those biceps. Oh, as fast as you can, as fast as you can. Yeah. yeah. Well, would you like to introduce yourself to the channel? Absolutely. Well, firstly, it's a pleasure to be here, reaching all of your all of your followers. I'm Neil Patch. I'm the chairman of Virtue Zone. I've been here 26 years, Larry. Can you believe it? It's been unbelievable. Virtue Zone 12 years, and what we do, and the reason that I stay a lot younger than, than I actually am, is because we get inspired by people like you setting up your businesses. And my particular mission is to persuade America that Dubai is the place to be. Especially during COVID. Exactly. Especially during exactly. COVID. I was talking with the Minister of Economy here the other day, and he challenged us. We had to raise our trade in the UAE to $3 trillion. And I said to him, and actually I'm a good example, I don't have a mask on at the moment, I hope that's okay. One of the reasons is because the Dubai government and Virtue Zone have enabled both all of our staff and our customers to be vaccinated, because business has to go on. You know? it's, it's a combination, it's a juggling act of being safe but also making sure that we can put bread on the table. So that's what you've been doing with your, with your business and it's what we try and do for about 500 companies every month uh, here. And people just don't know because the UAE is somewhere, I remember I, when I moved here, I didn't know where it was. And a lot of people, it's still new territory and, and you know, there's a lot of sort of myths about the place. But it is just an incredible time. And the number of Americans that I've seen, a crypto, for example, seems to seems as if that boom has brought so many youthful people here who are just changing things. As I was telling you earlier, you know, this whole social media thing is new to me, which is why we look to learn from, from the likes of you, Larry. But, uh, it, you know, it, it, it's really changing people's ability to work, to do their business, to be a global nomad from wherever they are in the world. Why not run it in a place that, do you know what corporation tax is in the UAE? Zero. <laughs> Which isn't bad, is it? Anyway, I talk too much. Welcome to the offices. And this is uh, where the old man uh, sits and hopefully where things happen. So, Larry, if, if we may, we're looking to partner with one another in so many ways across the board. And what you've been able to do is help, I think, inspire people to get into an area which is massive growth for us, which is social media and influencing. And that's... Some people might consider it simple, but it's a whole combination of things, isn't it? It's you know getting people to manage the, the, the people that you work with. It's getting to make sure that you can do the accounts and so on and so on. So it's not as simple as it appears. We all think it is when we have that dream. What we want to do is make it easy for people to go on. So, and you guys have been very easy for me. Thank, thank you. you Simplifying so the process. Wow, that's that's very very kind. Now, uh, hopefully, you're going to invite me back to New York because. It's been a while since I lived there. Absolutely. Oh. After COVID, when we have to wear masks, <laughs> everything is open. <laughs> All my sports references, like, see, I was telling you, and you're like, hmm, I think I remember that guy. He's got probably <laughs> gray hair now. That's why I brought Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. I'm sorry I had a lot of coffee today, so if I was talking too much, I, I apologize. That was all good. No, it was all good, absolutely. And thank you again for the tour and helping me and everyone watching out. And uh, I will return very soon. Quick arm wrestle to finish. Sure. For my, oh, yeah. I'll show my daughter. <laughs> You've got to start under here. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers, Adam. All right, thank you. And with that said, guys, I have nothing but gratitude for you guys for continuing to support the channel, supporting my merch, 
Team Personal Record. It has been a pleasure to work with you guys. And there's more content coming your way, of course. At this time, like I said earlier, I have no plans to move from Dubai. But if you have any suggestions on where I should temporarily travel to next, please comment down below. And for anyone who is interested in moving to Dubai, please check out Virtue Zone.